Hey guys, we are finally going to be looking at HTML and this is something that all my grade 11 have been waiting for. Let's get into it. What is HTML? Well, HTML is actually an acronym and if we sort of break it down, it stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Hypertext Markup Language. So it's kind of like a language or more of a, it's coding. It's coding. There you go. Now you can tell everyone you're coding. But you might only see HTML, okay? So where does the T come from? Well, that's just hypertext. I, I, I don't know why they put it together and I don't know. It should just be HTML. I don't know. Hypertext markup language. So that forms what we know as HTML. So I'm going to just go through uh, an introduction to what HTML is and what it, it does. And then we're going to learn HTML. Now it's actually very, very easy. And if you just stick with me guys, you're gonna be just fine, okay? So what is hypertext? First of all, we need to understand what is hypertext? Well, basically hypertext is just interactive text that you can click on or you can tap on it if you're on a touch screen, for example, and you can then execute an action. So it can be a link and that link can be to a document or a file or another web page or some sort of online resource that takes you there somewhere, okay? Or a URL, another website. Okay, so there on the left hand side, you can see it says www.google.com on a web page. If that was clickable or tappable, tappable, is that a word? Tappable. You could click or tap on that and it would take you to google.com. That's it. That's what a hyperlink would be. And that text that you're looking at would be called hypertext. So that's what hypertext means. All right. It's text on a web page that is interactive. You can click on it and it will do something. It'll take you somewhere. Then we get the next part, which is markup. Now, markup is basically using tags that will inform a browser how to render and lay out text and specific elements on a screen. Okay, now I mean, when you're looking at a web page, uh, you know, all of that stuff, the pictures and the videos and the hype and the headings and all those things didn't just land there, okay? There is a code that's telling those elements how and where they need to be. All right, so that is what the markup language is for. So the markup is what we're going to be learning, how to mark up things that they are in the right place on a web page. Then we get the next part, which is language. So language is a protocol. A protocol is a way of operating, okay? So the language, the hypertext markup language, HTML, it's the protocol that all web browsers must support, okay? The web content, everything that we use, all of that is what web pages have to adhere to, this protocol, this language, so that when we look at a web page using a web browser, it renders correctly. All right, if somebody is not using the correct code, it's not going to render correctly. Let me give you an example of what HTML actually looks like in the back end, okay? Because when you're looking at a web page, here's an example of a snippet from a web page, and we can see content. We can see headings, pictures, lines, all, all that picture, all that sort of stuff. We can see that, okay? Great, no problem. What does the browser actually see? The web browser sees this stuff, okay, that's the code. That's the code in the back end. That is HTML. That is hypertext markup language. That's the language that we're going to be learning to write so that we can see the web page correctly. So let me show you how it actually breaks down, all right? So let's see here, you can see we've got the heading at the top there, and that heading has been defined by a heading tag. Can you hear the words I'm using here? Okay, I'm using tags. The heading tag, which is a heading one tag over there, is using that. Then we got the Facebook, that is using a heading three tag. There it is there, so that's what it looks like in code. That's what it looks like what we see on the web page. There is an image. How did we get the image on there? Well, we used an image tag to get the image on there. What about the paragraph underneath? We used a paragraph tag to get the paragraph underneath. And then of course we had a line separating those two things. So there's an HR tag, horizontal rule, which is a line, okay, horizontal rule. So there you go guys, that is what we're going to learn now. That is hypertext markup language or HTML in a very, very brief nutshell. And let's carry on with the next lesson where you're gonna to learn to start actually coding in uh, Notepad++.